As fuel prices become more and more unstable and concerns about our environment rise, there has been a major push for alternative fuels. Let's take a look at some of the most promising alternative fuels available to us. Hybrid vehicles, ethanol, electric vehicles, and compressed natural gas. Hybrid vehicles are currently some of the most popular options in the alternative fuel vehicle market. A hybrid vehicle combines a conventional engine with a rechargeable battery system. These batteries are charged by capturing energy when braking the vehicle. Toyota answered the call for hybrid vehicles early with the Toyota Prius. As an owner of a hybrid car, I really enjoy driving it. I think that it's one of the biggest things that you can do to help the environment. Um, I don't have to fill it up every week. I can fill it up, you know, every other week, every three weeks, you know, just depending on how much I drive it. It's just like driving a, another car, just helping to save the environment. One of the other most promising alternative fuels in North America is ethanol, also known commonly as flex fuel. With a small amount of redesign, gasoline-powered vehicles can run on ethanol concentrations as high as 85%, E85. It can only be in concentrations up to 85% in North America due to its cold winters. Ford, GM, and Chrysler all offer flex fuel options. Flex fuel is not a brand new concept though. In fact, the Ford Model T could be considered the first flex fuel vehicle since it could be run on gasoline, ethanol, or a combination of the two. Electric vehicles also proved to be a very promising alternative to oil. After years of building the technology, electric vehicles are still often too expensive for the average consumer. Chevrolet may be changing this soon with the Chevy Volt. This vehicle can travel 40 miles without using a single drop of gas or releasing any emissions. Due to be released in 2010 at a price that many can afford, this vehicle may break the barrier that electric vehicles have been facing. Yet another alternative fuel, compressed natural gas, has proved to be a promising energy source for public transit vehicles such as buses. Chicago has a small number of CNG buses in testing, but other major cities around the country have put large numbers of CNG buses into use. But what is the public's opinion on alternative vehicles? We went to the streets of Chicago to find just that. Do you think automakers should invest more time and money into alternative fuels? Considering the way the three major car industries are suffering right now, yes, I do. I think that is what we're looking for towards our future. Gas prices, better efficiency, better mileage. Uh, only if the public's willing to pay for it. Um, it's definitely a good investment. I think so, yeah. Would you be willing to pay more for an alternative fuel vehicle? I don't know if I'd pay more money, but I'd pay the same. I think it's worth it. After some time and consideration, after it's been tested on the market, yes, I would. And yes, I would. What do you think the most promising alternative fuel source is? Hybrids? E85 flex fuel? Electric cars? Or something else? Personally, I think electric cars. I think from going from point A to point B would be more efficient for us. I don't believe in any other source of gas as far as ethanol. Um, and I still think that corn should be for the farmers, for the food, and stick with that. I really think hydrogen is our most likely one. Okay. I wish we could figure something out with carbon dioxide myself, but yeah. hydrogen I would think would be more likely than, would be the most likely source I'd like to see us find. Flex fuel and ethanol based vehicles I think is the short term answer. Longer term I think those other things come into play, but a short term fix would be the ethanol I believe. And with a global perspective, we found a tourist visiting from France. Well, it's just the way you want to live. I mean, it's not, uh, if you look for the speed, uh, you don't go green. If you look for, have a better life, you may use the appropriate car for that, or, or use transport, common transport, transport, common, common people, common people, bus, trains. It's just the way people may improve their life. I mean, we are not anymore in a, in a society where you can live alone in your car. So uh, it's not a choice of fuel or gas, it's a choice of life. Although the technology is still evolving, it is clear that the American public would be willing to switch from oil to one of the many up-and-coming alternative fuels. With the help of auto manufacturers, we can make this important transition and protect the environment.